Hi, this is Greg. I thought I'd show you guys how to uh, start from scratch to make a, a happy fun times game in Unity. Um, so let's just make a, a simple project. I don't know, I'll call it simple. Ooh, I can't even spell. And create. And then what we'll do is we'll make like the simplest thing I can think of, um, get that working, and then we will add happy fun times in. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually I'm going to make this camera match the scene. So I'm going to select the camera. I'm going to go here, align with view. And so now the what I see in the scene view should be the same in the game view. Then I'm going to make a, uh, a sphere, and that's going to be our player. So I'm just going to rename it player. And I'm going to add uh, a new script. And I'll call this player script. And then I'm going to edit that. And so all I'm going to do is I'm going to just move it uh, with a joystick. So uh, let's go float DI. Well, let's go up here and add speed in, right? So let's give it a speed. Make that like about four. And then we'll compute the speed. We're going to move it. So it's going to be speed times input get access horizontal right times we'll make it frame rate independent by using delta time and then copy that we'll look up z which is the vertical and then we'll update the position transform position equals transform position plus new vector 3 x 0 dz all right that should be it so i'll save that flip back over and if we run this which is your inverse sphere and i'm just using the arrow keys on the keyboard but you can see it's moving all right so now let's add happy fun times so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import the Happy Fun Times plugin. Uh, you can get it from the Unity Asset Store. If um, I just happen to have it here on my desktop, so I'm going to bring it in, and I'm just going to not import any of the samples. So I'll click off samples, but this other stuff will get imported. So we'll import that, and then the first thing I need to do is go to the player and I need to add the. Um, I need to add the Happy Fun Times um, input, right? So I added that in, and then we'll go back and edit the player again. And I'm going to look that component up. So let's make it private. Uh, we're going to look at the input component. So I don't know, HFT input, hello. And then I'm going to look it up with get component. Oops, HFT input, right? So that gets us the component. And then it works exactly the same as this one. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it in here and surround this. And add these together. Is this confusing how okay so we're going to change this to hf input so that gets it from happy fun times and we'll change this to hf input and there you go right um it's going to get the input from the keyboard and from the controller and so if i save that and then there's one more thing we have to do we have to make this player a prefab so i'm going to bring drag it down here and pop it in and you can see it's a prefab, and now I can delete this player. So I'm going to delete that. And then we need to make something to spawn a player, this prefab, when uh, somebody connects to Happy Fun Times. So I'm just going to make an empty object. And I usually call this object um, Level Manager. And I usually kind of put other things on there as well as this. But I'm going to go in here to Happy Fun Times, and I'm going to pick the player spawner. 
and I'm going to say, when somebody connects, spawn the player. All right, and I'm going to pick play. Let's make this pick again. And then to test it, I'm going to use Chrome. So um, I'm just going to flip over to Chrome, and I'm going to make this small enough that I can see both. So we'll make it, I don't know, about there. And I'm going to go to localhost 18679, and here you go. Here's a controller. And you can see it's working. And like we can open another window. And you can see I have two. Now you can see one problem. Um, they're the same color. And so let's fix that before we finish. So to do that, the first thing I need to do is I need to um, give this player a new material. So I this is probably one of those places where I don't know um, I don't know Unity that well. Uh, so the way I'm going to do it is first I'm going to make a new material assets create material. Um, I don't know I'll name this player material, and then I'm going to drag the prefab back out into the scene. I'm going to drag the material onto the sphere, and then I am going to click apply and then I'm going to delete this from the scene. And then just to double check, I will click on the player. Now I scroll down, I can see yeah, it's the player material now. And the reason we had to do that is if you don't actually have a real material, you have the default material, then when you change the color, it's just, it doesn't work. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure I know the reason, but rather than just guess right now, I am gonna ignore that. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to the player script. And what we need to do is, uh, let's flip back. If I look back at the player, you'll notice that there's this input and there's this gamepad. Um, when we added the input, the gamepad was added automatically. And what this gamepad does is it's what actually does the happy fun type stuff. It talks to it talks to the, uh, the, the phone and coordinates with that. This one, HFT input, basically just uh, emulates the Unity input system. That's how I was able to copy those two input lines and just change them to uh, HFT input and things started working. So this one um, lets us set the color because it's doing stuff that's not related to input. So let's go back to the player script and let's look that up. So right, we'll, we'll add a field for that. Uh, I'll just call it gamepad. And we'll look it up. Oops. Component and gamepad. So now that we have it, now we need to look up the renderer, um, and that will let us look up the material, and then we can set the color. So we can say renderer, renderer equals get component renderer, and then we can say render material color equals now, so the gamepad basically picks a color for you. Uh, you can set one yourself. If you set gamepad color to some color, it will change the color of the controller. Um, but by default, it picks one when it starts, uh, just to make it easy for you. Uh, so if we run this, um, and we flip these up over, you'll see, right, um, there's two players. Uh, they match. This guy is his color. This guy is his color. If I open another one, oops, if I open another one, right, right, this one's also another color, oh, let's open one more for the hell of it, there's another, and so there you go, in just like 10 minutes we made a simple game and we connected to Happy Fun Times. Uh, one thing I want you to know, okay, so if you missed any of that, um, you can find it all kind of detailed out on in the docs. They are uh, at docs.happyfuntimes.net slash docs slash unity. And uh, this is the second document on that page, I'm pretty sure. Um, you might also want to check out the, the third document. The third document explains how some of this stuff works. Um, and another thing I really want to encourage you to do is that, you know, these controllers, this D-pad and two buttons, and of course, uh, if you look at the other examples, you can change those very easily to a few other pre-created controllers. But you know, that's not the limit of Happy Fun Times. Um, Happy Fun Times is really just the communication 
and management between the phones and, and Unity. And so uh, you're free to change those to anything you want. You know, you don't want D-pads, you want analog sticks, or you want 20 buttons, or you want, you know, some weird thing where you can draw a picture and send that to the game. Um, all those things are possible. It's just up to you to do that. So I encourage you to go check that out. I think the fourth document on that docs page I mentioned um, covers some of that. And uh, if not, ask questions and below or um, on the issue tracker or on Stack Overflow, and I will do my best to, to answer your questions. All right. Um, looking forward to playing your games. All right. Thanks for watching.